from season to season. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the WGLNA Season 2 Gold League. I'm your host, Christian Toma. To my left, David Williams. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube backslash WGLNA. If you're not watching this on BattleViewer.com, go over there right now and check it out. And finally, follow us on Twitter, at WGLNA, so you guys can stay up to date on what's happening in the community around you and answer for us the question of the day. Which is, who is your pick for best scout in WGLNA? Mm -hmm. My pick, again, like we said uh, during the pre-show, Master Putin there in that bat chat for DNA. I love watching him play. It's just so fun to watch him kind of go up against other scouts when he does that positioning because he usually just takes it to him all day. David, how about you? Well, we saw a lot of great scouting in that last match. Yeah. I don't know. Perma Blue definitely throwing his hat into the He's ring. Like, hey, overall. I'm here. I'm here, guys. But right now, we're going to find out. Does Wally have it to take the take the clear lead? Woo! And we'll find out later if it's going to be Drynus. Drynus instead. All right. Well, guys, let us know me, who you guys think is your <laughs> that's right. Who you guys think is your <laughs> best pick for a WGLNA scout? But right now. <laughs> We have the sort of rematch of the last season's finals. It is High Voltage versus Ner Noble. On the side of Noble, we have Cops. On the side of High Voltage, we've got Arklet. Gentlemen, hey. welcome to the face of Arklet. It's great to see you, but Cops, we're going to go ahead and start with you guys. Now, here it is. It's like it's the big rematch, right? We've kind of, I just, I can remember you guys all being here in the studio. We were throwing M&Ms at each other. It was a great day. So my, we, usually when we see you guys kind of face off, it's, it's all or nothing. I mean, you guys just go in, you guys just go for it. It's like five O's, five twos. Do you feel like that's going to be kind of the same in this format, or do you feel like it's going to be kind of a more back and forth battle? Uh, this format, it's probably going to be back and forth. I mean, a lot more HP means you can survive a lot longer. Hmm. So these all up brawls, uh, they tend to happen on some maps, but on the more open ones, their engagements are more drawn out. So uh, should be good fights tonight. All right, and also just kind of pointing out, David and I both just realized last time that right behind you is a mirror, not a door, which totally tripped, yes. which totally tripped me out. <laughs> half, half of chat right now is like, wait, what? Yeah, that's a mirror? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you the same two-part questions we've been asking everybody else so far. For the sake of everybody watching right now, who should we watch as the scout for Noble? Scout? Uh, well... Those are Militant, Marsh. Uh, those two usually do the scouting roles, so I'd say watch one of those two. Depends, depends, does it? Hmm. And, yeah. uh, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but Jay Smooth brought it up earlier. So who, if you have any, who are your World of Tanks heroes? Oh, uh, easy. That'd be Endo. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't without him. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people wouldn't be here without him. So, yeah, it's got to be Endo. Uh Nicely done, comps indeed. Now, Arklet, over to you. So oh. good. <laughs> uh, again, well, we haven't seen you. It's so great to finally see you on camera. Uh, welcome to the face-offs. Uh, you guys are right now in second place by just one point. My question, just kind of as, you know, I've never I've never been a captain of a team. I've never been on a, a professional team before. Is that kind of, as a team, are you guys happy with that, with your performance so far? Or is it like, that's never enough? We want to be first. Oh. We really don't care about second place. All we want to do is win everybody. All right, that's great. Hey, hey that, there you go. That's that's the answer I was looking for. The only reason they're not full first is because of an overtime win. That's it. Huh. Otherwise, huh. they would be. They haven't lost anybody. So by the time of the end of the season, I think especially he would say that as long as they win first overall, it doesn't <laughs> that, matter. That's what it is. So Ark Lit, uh, who, who on your team is the scout? Uh, in my team, the scout definitely Wally. Like, uh, literally... I want his babies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, you That's know, the science, best answer. Science is progressing. Life. Maybe we can work that <laughs> One out One day, maybe, Arklet. Maybe. One day, but not today, keep, unfortunately. Keep the dream alive. Uh, Arklet, now this is going to be an interesting <laughs> question, considering he's, he's been in like almost every region for a long time. <laughs> Who are your World of Tanks heroes? My hero is Lifshaw from Navi. Great. This pick. is basically yeah. Great one pick. of the guys who actually was behind of uh, behind the cyber sports of World of Tanks as we know it. Hmm. Wow. Definitely. Wow. What a great era to have indeed. Well, gentlemen, thank you both for your answers. Before we get started, cops, there's anything you'd like to say to Arklet before we get into the battle? Uh, good luck and have fun. All right, Arklet, your response. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck to both of you, and we will see you very shortly. Oh, my gosh. The first time on camera, and that's what he does. I love it. This guy is my favorite.
Oh man, I've got stories to tell you, Eating those. and then some I will never hey. tell you. <laughs> so, <laughs> fair enough. I mean, both rosters are stacked full of crazy, awesome players. Yep. There's nobody to really highlight here. So let's go ahead and kick it on over to the match page. Great. Looks like Noble favors bat shots. I mean, everybody favors bat shots. They're awesome <laughs> tanks. And then I seven. That's actually interesting. They don't average one tank of any type per battle. Wow, very, very. I don't know diverse. how that's possible. Very diverse. That's crazy talk. Either way, their favorite map is apparently Himmelsdorf. Eh, I don't think they necessarily have a favorite. Both these teams probably don't really have a quote favorite. Noble definitely likes to go to Cliff a lot because they can exploit their overall uh, talent advantage there. Sure. Well, they did until recently. So. Sure. Who knows? I don't expect to see Cliff today. I think that would be a bad bad decision by both teams. High okay. Voltage can expect that Noble's been brushing up on it, and Noble probably shouldn't test to see if they've gotten back on their feet on it <laughs> against High Voltage. So <laughs> both fair. teams probably going to avoid that. Fair logic. Uh, but I don't, I don't actually know the picks for these yet. I do know we're going to be playing Steps first. That's right. Starting so that's going to be interesting. Steps. But do you think we'll, be, we think we'll see the Double Mouse coming out? Uh, well, yes. Actually, that's, that's a good question. Who picked this map? Hmm. Who wanted to play this one? I... I would guess High Voltage. I, I would say that Noble wanted to play really? this one, and High Voltage wanted to play this so, one. Like, this is the it would not surprise me if Noble thinks that this is going to be one of the better maps they can play on, huh? and High Voltage wants to take them there. Well, they have there right now, and if that's the case, we're about to see High Voltage versus Noble. Noble is on defense, High <laughs> Voltage on offense. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. Well, no Mausen. No mouth. That's, that's no. not yet, at least. That's right. They're all on offense, actually. That makes total sense. <laughs> okay. So Noble with two E5s, oh, 140, yeah. <laughs> two T22s, a TB, an RE251. High voltage with a bat chat and action X, an STB, two T22s, an object 268, and an RE251. I feel like right now we just need to like a da 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 It's such an epic rematch here. <laughs> on the second battle. Get, uh, get some people playing second those match. gigantic drums. Yeah. Do, do, do in the back. You want to play gigantic drums in here? No one? Oh, we're the only ones in here? Okay. All right, so Noble's going to go with a the boost. They're going to play hard defense. It's a good idea here. But uh, High Voltage just brought the Object 268, in my opinion, to deliberately handle anybody who hard camps. They can get it into some nice positions and start racking up damage on the E5s or Mouse or whoever pokes. I don't think they can actually pen a mouse very consistently with that, but they probably have a better chance of penning with a 268 than most things, maybe a 263. I don't know. We could discuss back and forth all sorts of different variants to deal with a mouse, but until that happens, no point in it. We do have a moment to discuss a little bit uh, here. Lev Shaw, the guy that Arklet was talking about. Yeah. Huge mainstay. One of one of the most positive people that you will ever meet. Uh, great guy. Huh. I've met him a couple different times. He's always been a blast. He's a great World Tanks player. He puts in a ton of work. Awesome. My pick for one of my World Tanks heroes would have been either him and or Power Slide, his teammate. Both of them, I, I, I just great absolutely <laughs> love how they approach the game. Power Slide wasn't always considered one of the best players in the game. But he set out to be that. Mm. Some people set out to win. And I feel like this is actually one of the bigger flaws that happened on my team. Part of why we burnt out so much and why, why we're, we weren't satisfied and why we started failing. I think we focused too much. and I think it's a common thing for everybody to focus too much on winning. Okay. When they should be focusing on being the best there is. Huh. If that's your goal, huh. then winning will come. Huh. And that is how the Navi guys approach it. Those two in particular are great standout players mm. for that mentality. They're great, positive people. I couldn't go on about it enough, but I was—I really wanted to ask Arkwood that question because I, I figured that's probably what he would say. All right. Well, it seems like I get this kind of that mentality being such a huge part of this game. We've seen, uh, you know, up or down. I, I really do like that. If you do approach it as if, like, hey, we, we just want to be the best there is, and not that way you just don't get as upset with losses. If, if, if all you're about is winning, a loss is detrimental. Before yep. I was being the best, like, no, this is a time for improvement. So this when, is part of the journey. When I was the best that I've ever been at this game, that was all I cared about. I could lose in a pub match. I didn't care. I was like, I played great. It wasn't I got the best damage or anything like that. I did everything that I knew was the best thing to do at the sure, moment. Sure, sure. Uh, and sometimes that resulted in me dying with not a lot of damage because I held a corner. Whatever. It's different different goals, and it actually helps you be more satisfied overall. Sure. Because uh, sometimes it's hard to control whether you win or lose. It's a team game. Right. You know. Right. And if you're banking only on winning or losing, it creates team tension because now other people, <laughs> other people are preventing you from your my, main goal, which is mm. winning. Mm. Whereas if you're playing the best as possible, hey, that's all, yeah, and you did, you. then great. You know. Not that winning isn't a good goal to have, but it's nice. Either way, <laughs> this is totally normal right now. High voltage taking their time setting up making sure they're getting the right rotations. None of this should be a surprise to them. 
Uh, so I'm interested to see if they have a break here. I'm, I'm sure they do. It's just whether it's going to work. Noble has changed up a little bit. They're holding more of a spread line. Mm. They do have the option to swing around the southern side. And High Wolch is going to go for a little bit of a cap pressure. Probably trying to get one of those E5s to poke up and just do a boatload of damage to try and create that initiation moment that they need. But they need to be a little bit more careful of those shots coming out of the Dodoma area here. Uh, where he is right now. He can get those nice side shots into the side of Angry Guy. If... Oh, Angry Guy's in. Yeah, yeah he hasn't been playing all season. Uh, he's played here and there, if I remember correctly. But he hasn't he hasn't been playing recently. So that's that's very interesting to see him in. Traveling RE251. Putting that cap pressure on now. Down to 70 seconds. I like, I like that, the Dodoma area. It's a great... It's a great... It just sounds like a scary area. Well, that's the area that he's in currently. <laughs> yeah. I'm certainly not going to call that one place on the map the Dodoma area. Um, Too many people happened. would get so mad at me for doing that. Too many players would be like, guys, we've been doing this since before Dodo even played. <laughs> like, I know, I'm sorry. Dodo was even born. Uh, uh, Dodo's been around counter. for a long time. Season go. season two, I think, is where I met him. Season one or two. One of the veterans. Uh, now here we go. Noble starting to push around Milton, though, being spotted out. It's going to hopefully, you know, maybe kind of let them put, pump the brakes down. Now the rest yeah. of the members. So Wall has doing a great job. They're not getting resets. How is this possible? Kind of sitting on the back here. Oh, here we go. High oh, Wall just going all in here, on it. They're going to shield is. Angry Guy. They've gotten close enough, cutting it down to eight seconds. High Wall just maybe taking it home. Night Wall's going to have to make a big move to cut Ooh, this out. Go for that quick cap. Some damage there going on to Birdie. But again, a lot. most of the cap points are on Angry Guy. If they can protect him from taking a scratch of damage, they're going to find this one. Four seconds on the clock. Nice Dodo Tiger getting Thief. extremely throw. Tiger getting very low himself, though. But he's doing exactly what he needs to do, and that is be a shield. Oh, a brief damage. set back to three seconds. Was it going through back and forth? Now down to one, now down to three. Birthday picks up Dodo in the rebound. But there it is. Germ driving through. Gets the shot on the angry guy just in time. At the last second, Tiger Thief though, does find Germ. Two tanks falling for Noble. High Wolters is trying to back up the cap because there's no longer a Val way of the victory right now as Canadian and Akula pick up two members as well. Bird Thief and Tiger Thief for High Voltage. An even exchange, but not as far as HP goes, because Noble has 9,000 against High Voltage's 6,100. So Noble is looking pretty here. They have killed five minutes off the clock. Five and a half minutes now, only two minutes and 23 seconds remain. And they've taken four or seven. And unless High Voltage can do something amazing here, it looks like this one should be going over to Noble. Definitely. Ant is caught. He's going to go down relatively soon unless he gets extremely lucky. Militant. Wisely not engaging Angry Guy, not trying to fall into this. He knows if Angry Guy's playing this aggressive right here, uh, he may be able to get him, but there's probably a trick. Probably someone back in Probably there. a trick. <laughs> that, the crazy part is sometimes that's not true and you psych yourself out, but in this instance, it's not that big of a deal. Militant knows he can build blue the time and let it cook down here. Oh, there it is. Get that. Now he knows. He's getting a little bit of a tricky position, though, as Blue Boys is going to get some nice shots on him. Looks like he can get away from that fairly nicely here, but high voltage. Basically going to run away is what it looks like their best option is, is, to, <laughs> is to hope that Noble rotates in between them and their 268. Nox gets to do a boatload of damage. All right. We'll, we'll see if uh, if Noble gives it to him. They just have to stay alive for a minute and 30 now as the uh, looks like the cap is just kind of out of out of the uh, mind of High Wolf. Kula's in the open, and Wallhack's now starting to line up some shots along with every guy. Couple there going in 625, 952 in that 222, getting tracked as well, which is going to make him a sitting duck. If he can pick up, if he can pick up this tank right now, that's going to give them a tank advantage. 583, but as March picks up Anthief, that tank advantage is no more. And now Milton and Kula being taking some shots back and forth against Blue's captain. Oxy from that 268 now coming down off the hill. And the tank destroyer and is now against X Soldier and Canadian Impact. The Kula taking 248 points of damage there. A couple more shots, one more shot, and he will be going down. Angry Guy picks that one up. Now Milton's taking some shots. 44 seconds on the clock. High Voltage does have four members against Noble's four, but again, the HP is such in favor of Noble that this just looks just worse and worse for High Voltage. A lot of damage there going off to Ox Thief. Wall Hacks does pick a Milton. X Soldier finds Ox Thief, so it's still a three on three, but again, it's the HP at the end of the day. Now that really matters right now. 24 seconds on the clock. Marsh from Noble does find Angry Guy in that RE251. And now it's just 19 seconds. Looks like that is just going to be it for High Voltage. A very close attempt. Almost got that cap down to the final second. Uh, but Noble, a beautiful job keeping the reset. And now just kind of killing the time as necessary. Five seconds on the clock. And it looks like Noble is going to pick up the first victory of our glorious rematch of the season finals against high voltage Whew. there.
I know, I mean, right at the end. I mean, it, I mean all of those cap points. And it looked like, if I'm not mistaken, Germ. I think Germ was the one who poked up, kind of sacrificed himself to get that shot and reset the cap completely for high voltage. Yeah, there was a, a number of shots that all came at the same time and angle that was allowed to happen. And I, it's just incredible the resets were able to be hmm. acquired. acquired that often. Sure. A lot of times people will make mistakes there and they start trying to only hit the RU-250 if you want to hit in, hit in behind. But if you do the math and you know when things started and you know you can reset the other two, then it's the full 90 seconds from whenever one tank started. Really? So if it hasn't been 90 seconds since the RU-251 got on, on and chat. you can reset the others and it's not too close, huh. you can reset them and keep it alive long enough for you to get the RU-251. Wow. Practicing cap discipline and who manages it is an extremely important part of this game. Let's go to statistics. Okay. Shall we review the metrics, my sir? We shall. Canadian Good. Impact with 2,800 damage in his E5. Akula with 2,500. Ex-Soldier with 2,400. Militant uh, down there at 1,300. And then over here, Wall Hacks and the Bat Chat, 2,000. Blue Boys with 2,000. That's the first time we've seen Blue Boys really start stepping back up. He's been in kind of a slump, if you ask me. Mm. He's a great player. Maybe he'll come back in the clutch. I'll ask you. Bird down here. And everybody else. Nice and in between. Ah, oh, Bird was one of the guys on cap, and he got absolutely ruined trying right. to protect Being the shield. RU-251. Shield, yeah. And Tiger Thief was right next to him. That's why these two are, are down that low. I was Makes sense. confused for a moment. Makes sense. Ox managing to get in 1,600 on the 268. So the 268 overall not proving to be worth in that moment. They were not able to get Noble to step into the areas the 268 was really designed to handle. Noble seems like they shifted more and more away from it, focusing on the sides. I think that's a little bit of a flaw in what High Voltage was doing. Okay. But perhaps there are little nuance points in what High Voltage wanted to do hmm. that we didn't they didn't it. execute correctly. Right. Which you've seen or that we so didn't many see. times. Yeah, I mean, anytime you see a glaring hole in something, like, like well, that oh, side, that was a weakness. That side's just wide open. Usually they know, and something is supposed to happen. That They're did. supposed to rotate when somebody goes there. Some, somebody missed the spot because they backed off for two seconds, sure. and somebody drove across the sure. gap, and then they died. You know right. who knows? Anything could happen. But well, we saw we're about to push into high voltage being on defense, and I think everybody knows what we're going to see. That's right, guys. It is now. <laughs> you know, don't don't want to spoil anything, but we're about to see it. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got. Four tanks. Spoilers! Don't want to spoil it for the whole 10 seconds before we yeah. get there. <laughs> the Mausen. They're back! The oh. Mausen have returned. It's dirty. A Bat Shad, an STB, two T22s, an RU251, and of course, the Mausen. Four high voltage on defense. Noble with an E5, two Bat Shads, two T22s, a T54, and an M53, M55. Mm. That is probably their answer, their answer. for the Mouse. Sure. However, that is a lot of hit points. 3,000 to try and blast through with an M53, M55. I don't know about that. Mm. I don't know about that. I don't think I don't think the timetable works out to effectively kill them quick enough for that to matter. But Noble's going to go east. I don't know if that's a better no engagement way. area than the no than way. going west. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just point something out here? Wallhacks just went over and knocked over this tree, right? And then he backed away and is not going to go boost here. Did he knock that over to trick the artillery to thinking that they're going up on that side? Or was that... Probably. I mean, that is... That is brilliant. That is Look at it. it! It totally worked! It totally worked! This, the artillery this, shot the tree! This is what I'm talking oh about. Oh my god! This is what I'm talking about, how you understand things That's that nobody, nobody sees that you understand. That is beautiful. That's crazy. I could have missed that looking at it. That's exactly what they're doing. You have to know these teams well enough to know that every little thing they do is on purpose. Wow. But knocking down the tree to trick the artillery, I could not be prouder of you Thanks, than David. I am right now. Oh, great. That wow. was, I mean, that was brilliant, though. It was, and it totally worked out. It, it worked, yeah. It totally worked out. Oh, now Noble might be thinking really confident that they've got some sweet That's, pick over there. There you go. That's why Wally's got his hat in the ring for best scout at WGLA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Getting it right back on the board. Uh, x Ultra now is spotted out there. And Thief and uh, Ox were spotted themselves. A little bit of a very aggressive push for Noble, obviously going over here to the east. And now to deal with the mouse. And yeah, plural of mouses is Mies. That's, uh, that's how you say them together. Mies, Miesen. Miesen, the two Miesen, Bird Thief and Arklet. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> and uh, and the pride is But I down. don't know enough to correct <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to confidently <laughs> say it. Uh, Ox Thief dodging a shot from the artillery there. That is two now going out from that M53, M55. Uh, I, oh, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm, oh, that just, mm, I'm excited to see what High Voltage does here and how Noble can try to respond to that. Again, uh, steps, though, David, is, is this also this, the kind of maps 
where we talk about when, when the shot from artillery goes out, that's just a huge hole. In yes, a, a beautiful opportunity for counter push. Let's talk about this right now. High Voltage just surrendered almost everything. They're tucking all their tanks in one little place where everybody has to come over to them to even spot them. Wow. And then once they do have a head-to-head, -head, it's an overmatch, a horrendous overmatch. Wow. The only weakness here that I can see is that the one cap is wide open, mm. completely wide open. Sure. And three people could get on there and cap fairly quickly. I don't know if this is that smart overall, but I, I trust that High Voltage has rehearsed this strategy and worked out the details enough to know that this is a glaring weakness, and All they right. have an answer ready for it. Here we go, Tiger Thief starting to step up a little bit. He probably will take at least a couple shots trying to get there. And now the Mausen are gonna start moving up a little bit more. I think it's Mausen. I know it's definitely not Meesen. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we call them mice, I mean, if we're going with English. Either way, High Wolch is gonna shoot down the valley here, trying to make a counterplay into the southern southern area and pick that up. Looks like they're going to delay in the north, try and get the resets. Both mouse are going to push up, probably manhandle Canadian Impact once they get there. Look at how much they're already bouncing. And most of this fight's going to go down here in the south. It's Blue Boys and Ant Thief starting to come head to head with Akula, who's going to try and get away from them. Looks like they're disengaging a little bit too easily. They did have a pick there. They're going to let it go. Meanwhile, another tank, another medium all the way down there in the zero line, babysitting the artillery. Hmm. That's German, a T-54. He's not that big of a threat to most of the people there as long as they send two tanks that way because if he does get tracked and the M-53 hits him, it's pretty much game over for whatever single medium goes there at that point gotcha. in time. So gotcha. it is somewhat of a repellent. Either way, Noble now abandoning their cap pressure and all High Wolters had to do to, to handle that was sacrifice a little HP. But if you look at the numbers, they got plenty of HP to sacrifice. I'm just most, mostly surprised that Canadian Impact hasn't taken more damage yet. Yeah, still up 13,000 thir 13, points of HP there. 13,537 13, against Noble's 11,000. Just, nice. just so much extra HP to share. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Wally is not firing. He's staying camoed up as the ace in the hole, essentially. If Noble ever feels like pushing hard over, He's like, Hi. then he shows up because he knows. <laughs> he knows if he gets spotted now, whatever damage he did was not worth it because the artillery will splash his, his gotcha. life away instantly. Gotcha. Just bang, dead. But High Voltage trying to get a wrap around to get that angle on Canadian Impact. It's so far entirely invisible in doing so. If Impact not wants to step back spotted. up on that ledge, it could turn into bad news real quick. Militant's also a little bit exposed, as is X-Soldier. Uh -oh. And here goes I will uh -oh. just directly over the tracks. Riding, rushing toward the one cap. 728 damage there going in. Tiger Thief getting a stop on top. 708 now again. He's getting extremely low in that SB1. One more shot. He'll be going down. Canadian Impact finds the SB1, and that is one tank there falling for high voltage. They have scared Noble, though, off the cap. And here comes the fight. Noble going through. Wallhacks decide to finally show himself and starts laying down shots there on a Dodo, getting lit up from all sides. Over 1,400 points damage there in that T-22. And he goes down to Oxy. But meanwhile, Bird Thief has gotten low himself. It'll be interesting to see when Marsh lets the shot go and who it will connect on. Bird Thief, 725 there. One of those mouths might be going down any second. Now it's going to be a Kula to pick that one up. Now two tanks falling for high voltage, just one for Noble, but there are two minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock. High Wolters has done a shot great so job. Oh, Mouse taking a lot of, the Mouse driven by Arkley taking a lot of damage as well, and the rest of Noble pushing up very aggressively against Blue Boy's Captain. 408 there in that T-22, and Milton picks that one up. Beautiful focus fire there coming up for Noble. x are driving back across the cap just to try to get some shots to help out. Ox Thief is extremely low there in that bat chat. Akula lining up on the shots. Uh, Ox only able to get one off on him, and he's going to finish that one off. Arklet getting surrounded, and it looks like Noble is going to pick up his victory. Anthony does find Canadian Impact with a minute and 58 seconds on the clock. And Noble has now well, four members as Anthony finds another one. Milton goes down, but it is a four on two. There's cat pressure being uh, uh, applied by Noble, and it looks like High Voltage just will not have enough to win this battle. You are dead correct. Wallhack still trying to shop for some finishing shots there on Akula. There and he it gets it. <laughs> nice. But it's not going to be enough as the most of Noble. Well, one is on cap with plenty of time to finish it off. Germ is now relatively safe and the artillery marsh is still back in business. I'm curious to see how much damage he did. And I'm curious to see if High Voltage can come back and perform that strategy a little bit better. They lost, I believe, Tiger Thief just in the push up and over. Yeah. They perhaps yeah. either misaccounted for where the tanks were or it just didn't work out the way they expected. Either way, I personally expected that strategy to work a little bit better. I saw some uh, failures of execution in more than one place.
and most importantly, allowing that artillery to live for far too long. Yeah, I, I think was the biggest issue. I'm interested to see how many shots that he at the end of that battle got to go off because that battle lasted a long time and he was able to just kind of fire and fire and fire and fire in there. But a fantastic job for Noble picking up that victory, uh, finding you know just where to uh, where to push, leaving the cap when it was too dangerous and coming around and joining the fight. So a pretty great pickup there. Uh, stats. We shall measure their performance. Let's do it. Indubitably. Indubitably. Vis a vis the <laughs> battle report. <laughs> From here, Akula. <laughs> Wow, uh, here we go. Cool. You know, he hasn't really been racking up the points lately. It's uh, he, he's been he's been a, he's been a great team player this season. Sometimes that comes at the cost of getting the fancy damage numbers. Damn. He's up here, right next to uh, Canadian Impact. But this time he put in work. Thirty-four hundred overall with three kills. Probably a huge part in securing the kills uh, that went on there in the north. Canadian Impact behind him with twenty-eight hundred, and Jerem with twenty-four hundred and a T fifty-four. That's pretty crazy. But here's the what we were looking for, Marsh wasn't that big of a no. deal. Mm. This is a missing tank. Sure. And it drags everything down to tier nine. This is where I feel like it went strategically wrong for high voltage. But either way, high voltage, wall hacks, 2400, ant thief right behind him. And the mouse, they just didn't pen their shots. I saw so many bounces on the E5 mm. that uh, I honestly, uh. at least one of them did not look like it should have bounced. I don't know why it did. They shot him right in the side turret. It just didn't happen. Really? Perhaps there's some angle stuff going on there from the elevation or whatnot. Just unfortunate shots. I don't know. The mouse just didn't pull their weight in the terms of damage. And if they had, that would have been a very different game. Gotcha. That because they're there to soak up HP. Okay, yeah. I was going to ask, like, what, what is, their main purpose is just to take a bunch of shots and allow the other team to come up and find shots? Yeah, so when we saw some cat pressure there in the north and we saw um, some people pushing over the north to deal with it, yeah. honestly, the south was a better play. Hmm. We'll talk about that right after we read off the tanks here. That's right, so because get Noble it. is up 2-0. Let's see if they can continue, or will High Wolves just come back? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. Noble with two E5s, a 140, two T22s, a TVP, and RU-51. High voltage with a bat chat and Action X, an STB, two T22s, an Object 268, and RU-251. So, well, we'll talk about the last topic first. I feel like pushing into the south was a better play. Uh, I don't feel like High Voltage had a proper accounting of where the tanks were. They probably expected more in the south and only slight pressure in the north, and that's why they did what they did. So they're attempting to push onto the weak side. There was three tanks and they for failed. in the north, yeah. Yes, they thought they were going to push on the weak side with an easy pick, and I think they messed up. Because the entire idea behind the mouse is that you want to go one way, and then anybody who wants to flank you and get isolation on the mouse has to blow through 6,000 hit points while Wallhax is, is doing damage to you. Dang. It's not It's Dang. not good. It takes a long time, and that uh, provides the rest of your team the time to swing someplace else and kill the Tier 9 and the artillery and all that. So there was a moment when, I think it was Blue Boys pulled up, Blue Boys and Ant pulled up, they saw Akula driving away, and Akula went north. That should have been their clue, ah. that there is not much south. Gotcha, so let's go. And as long as they knew the artillery was south to begin with, which they should have known from the angles, Assuming they did proper angle testing, could have been their game. which is a tricky thing because unless you either see it come in, or you've isolated the only angle it can come in from mm -hmm. based on terrain and, and layout, you don't really know where it is. Either way, I feel like uh, there's some player error there in, in identifying some misinformation, hmm. and the strategy does have merit, but it is a weakness right then and there. The mobility generally trumps high HP armor on big open maps like this. Hmm. And good, good high voltage, once they saw the damage number from that artillery, they're probably going to be a lot less scared of it next time around. It just doesn't do a lot to mouse. It, it could, possibly, but it's not going to do it reliably. Well, and, that, and that's, a, that's just another great thing to point out <coughs> Excuse me, between oh. both these teams. Boosting. Oh, oh, the nor see, now high voltage tried to do this again last time and it didn't work out for him. Let's see. The wow. Up there. Wow. I think they need blue to get the proper. How does Noble Yeah, know? I'm saying, are, are they just assuming this happened? Because, again, they, High Voltage did try to do this last time, but it didn't work out for him. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of teams blind this when they don't really know what's going on. <laughs> just waiting for that last tank. Wow. And go for the Boosterinos. Maybe Noble saw them do it last time. I wasn't paying close enough attention to their spotting cycles to see if they saw oh, High man. Voltage do this last time. And they're time. still pushing. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Nobody has actually spotted them yet. Look at this. All their guns are facing the direction. That's not so they can counter fire. That's to guarantee that if anything comes in here, it's likely going to bound off the front of their turret. Ah, OK. And Arklin's almost there. Come on. You can do it this time. Almost there. Will they make it, chat? Will they make it? You got to cheer them on. I simultaneously love and hate things like this. Cheer them on. Because oh. they get way too caught uh -oh. up in it. 
Uh -oh. like they are now. Uh oh. And they're burning valuable time. Almost two and a half, almost three minutes now. Turn just it. trying to get a 268 in position. Now, once you get it there, how long is it going to take the 268 to really to be effective. earn its its value? Sure. What if it does get up there and they put on that one cap pressure? Oh. It could. Oh. Very well. Arklet almost oh, there. Oh, man. See, and now it's almost three minutes. If you if you were to ask one of these guys, if you want to spend three minutes trying to get a 268 in a position, oh. they're going to oh. tell you no. Uh oh. Arklet. Is he up? He's not up. No. He's not up. No! He might be able to get up from here. Come on, wiggle. No, well, if he wiggles, he'll probably slide. Don't wiggle, don't wiggle. It, well, that, he has to wiggle at the same time. <laughs> oh, no. This is a perfect time to deploy the utility log, boys. Oh, look at they're, they're coming back up. He's like, guys, 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 guys. Four minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. So almost, almost half of the battle has gone through getting, for this. Getting tunnel vision on a single goal and bleeding so so much clock time on I, this. It's like, killing me. Like part of me side. wonders if like they it's know like the they inside. know they're being watched right now, so they're like, hey, hey, people are watching this. We have to pull it off now because No, this, no, this is worse. <laughs> so, this is worse so spending this amount of time. I mean, this Arklet better put up like five thousand damage, which I don't think is possible given the amount of time left. There he goes, he's up. Hey, he made so it. It was done. They better have a Man, really four minutes. really good yeah. plan yeah. To, to make up for spending wow. that amount of time on it. I, I mean, I hope so. Just because I would hate, I would that hate to be. The I would reason. hate to have. See, yeah, I would hate for it to be something like that. Although, I mean, people lose for that kind of stuff all the time. Mm. A tank moves into a place you, you're not used to, but you know you can get him. But you're just not getting the shots. And five minutes later, he's still not dead, or he is dead, and you're out of time. Tunnel vision is uh, a huge problem. Uh. But I will just. They've got enough time to put on the cap pressure. Arklet's in a better place to get the shots down into the E5s. So rinse, repeat what they tried last time and see if they can get it done. Still got a little bit of weakness on the uh, southern flank there, the southeastern <laughs> flank, but. Well, but it's going to take noble time to rotate in there. Right, because well, here's the thing. You're going to have to take some of the tanks off of defense from that to put on more cap pressure, though. Right. Well, what I was going to say is last time <clears throat> they, they got close and they had that fight because. The cap failed, and Noble came to them. Yes. This time, if that doesn't happen, Noble won't have—they won't have to go and push and have that fight over there. All Noble needs to do is reset. Yeah, that's it. Thirty-five seconds on the clock, though. So Noble is starting to move, as you can see. Canadian back Godo getting to those positions that we usually see to get those spots in the wall. And Bird Thief. Here we go, flooding across the southern side. Noble's going to try the same break they had last time. Ant Thief is wide in the open, getting some shots and causing problems. Wow. He hasn't counterspotted any of these guys in the middle. There we go. Militant got lit up. I was wondering how this was even possible. And Ant now knows where at least one of them is, but the rest of Noble not really getting a uh, good amount of angles in. But it doesn't matter. The reset. Yeah, it came through. I don't know if it came through. Wallhacks is just off. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. So, yeah, High Voltage decided to pull their guys off. They're like, all right, here comes Noble. Let's, let's bail. I don't know if they're assuming that Noble would commit more. And now look at this. I mean, Noble is spread so far out now. They have oh, like three in a kill members. zone. And impact takes 773 from the 268 Ooh. from really far back. Oh, this might, maybe this is turning, but there's only two minutes and 12 look seconds on the clock. Look where he is. This is the whole point why they spend that amount of time. And don't get me wrong, I love a 268 up there. It's just, I don't know if it's worth four minutes. Sure, sure. But dang, look, impact's done. He's like, nope, I can't do that. Now they're <laughs> going to go hard for the reset. Maybe that one shot was enough. Maybe you could spend four minutes for that. Either way, Ant's going to try and pick oh, up Dota, but Dota was caught in a weird place. And 22 seconds left on cap as High Wolf just going all in to try and make this work. Blue Boy's going to have to play forward and take out Dota. Oh, if Dota goes down, though, that's going to be a huge pickup and High Voltage might have the time, but the resets are going through. Akula finds a shot. Dodo found a reset as well. Oxy does oh, find wow. it, but Birth Thief getting lit up now from Canadian Pact and X Soldier. 22 seconds is on the clock here. Anthony coming back to join our Blue Boys captain, pushing to the cap as well, but Wahak's taking another shot. They are continually spotted there. Again, when their names are in yellow, that means the whole enemy team can see them. Now with 20 seconds, it is going to be up to them, and it looks like Noble might be able to get there in time, and if they do, High Voltage then only has a minute and 18 seconds to clean up everything. X Soldier, 709 points they're going into that E5. Blue Boys Captain doing a great job trying to block as many shots as he can. Tiger Thief, Bird Thief, Wallhack's taking uh, a lot of damage. I mean, Tiger is now taking the damage there. 817 in that STB1. Wallhacks and Bird Thief continuing to apply that cap pressure. Akula taking some shots. X Soldier still pretty healthy. 628 there going into the T22. But now Bird Thief getting lit up. Ox Thief takes out Marsh, but Germs finds reset. Bird Thief. They and that was the, the reset. Fight. And yeah, now, th now this is the fight that High Waltz needs. They need to now wipe out Noble in 46. Six seconds. Wall hex. I'm not sure why he's maintaining that cap pressure. Actually, looks like he's going to become joined by Ox. Looks like they still want to take this cap. Milton, though, takes down Blue Woods Captain, and it's looking worse and worse.
for high voltage. They only are about a thousand points of HP down. Tigers is going to start putting that pressure on as well, but he is now being shot from a T22 coming up from the south, and high voltage is being surrounded there. Akula finds Tiger Thief, and Noble looks like they're going to have this uh, this victory as well as Ox Thief and Anthief are the only ones really outside of the cap. And as Ox Thief goes down to Akula, Anthief should be falling to Militant and the other members of Noble any second now. 309 there going to that T22. 30 seconds on the clock, and it just gets reset there. Milton finds Ant Thief, and now the time will run out. Noble will go up 3-0 against Highwold this year in our second match of the night. And now I think we can definitively say four minutes, not worth it. If they had gotten that done a lot faster, it may have been a victory. Sure. But they didn't. Yeah, and that's all that matters. Well, well like you said, from that's his, all that matters. From his position, he did get that nice shot, and it did scare the E5. Like, hey, I'm not going to go up and, and reset anymore. But yeah, four minutes is already down on the clock. Let's look at the numbers. Let's cook the stats. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. So, unsurprisingly, Arklet fired nine times, hit seven, penetrated six for four thousand three hundred fifty <laughs> damage. Every time he hit one of those E5s, it changed everything. Oh my god! But too much time. And everybody else is uh, Tiger Thief got spent entirely for a block. Wall hacks and Bird Thief almost entirely for blocks. And uh, nobody else really getting a good foothold in besides Ant getting some damage in. Mm. That's just it's a failed strategy. X Soldier and, e and <laughs> Canadian Impact, even though they were getting lit up by the 268, they still got what they needed. Huge defensive reset points from X Soldier there at the end. Wow. Dotama lived far too long and got his reset yeah. points when yeah. it mattered. Multiple Most times. importantly, Marsh got reset points. Who on this team didn't get reset points? Well, militant, but he was busy doing other stuff. And Akula reset points. Just, it didn't work. It yeah. didn't work. Somebody has got to set a trap for the tanks to come back from the south because it's it's 100% why I don't like the one cap on this map. The way you used to play it at all is if anybody ever used to tuck into the north side or the northwest side at all, okay. you took that ridge line right underneath and then okay. you just left them there. You've got better <laughs> positions. <laughs> You're like, all right, we're just going to You've got better positions, and you can get concave around them. Any place they want to try and step up to counterfire at you when you're taking shot, pot uh -huh. shots at them, somebody else has got side turret. And you just do that Sounds pretty great. for five minutes, and it's game over. Hmm. So it, I, I do not, I, I still, no, I mean, no other cap. You surprise, got, you, you got, surprise, you got to prove like it to David. Cap. You got to prove to David that the one cap is a fun one to go to. Nobody's Ma ever done it yet. Maybe Noble's going to really. do it right now. They are up 3-0 against high voltage. Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for tanks. People have proven you can win from there. Nobody's proven that it's a great That's way a, to go. Yeah, it's like, oh, every time, this is solid. Not that the two cap's any better. It's scary over there. Noble with an E5, two batch has two T22s, a T54, an M53, M55 again at high voltage. Two E5s, a batch at an STB, two T22s, an AMX1390. So they're dropping the Mausen Strat. It's not going to work for them, one reason or another. Uh, everything's changing. And high voltage possibly on tilt at this point. I mean, I don't think anybody on their team expected to go 3-0 to start everything off. And we'll see if they can man, keep resilient under that pressure. I mean, last time Noble got an early lead on them like this was in the in the finals. And yeah. Noble 5 0 him in that first set. Yeah. And it took a whole nother set of games for High right. Voltage they, to yeah, come they, back. They had three, we had three sets then, of matches. Even then when it happened, it was High Voltage on Mines and it was Ox Mathis just killing everyone. <laughs> That's true. Right? I remember, yeah. So We're racking up the shots. I don't know. I don't know. This makes me feel funny. I want this to go long. I want this to go really long. I want to see the best game possible. Man. And I'm starting to wonder if that's the case. Uh, I feel like High Voltage wanted this map on purpose because they thought they had tricks up their sleeve. And yep. two mouse in, Northern Cat. It didn't uh, Northern work Boost. out. It didn't work out. They're playing Noble, and sure. Noble found the cracks, and they put themselves in a position to execute too perfectly. And that's, that's the allure huh. when you get ahead of yourself in overall strategy. Oh, we'll do this strat, and when we win with it, it's going to put them on tilt because they won't expect it. And then, you know, all we have to do to win is play perfectly for one game. <laughs> right. And it sounds dumb when I say it that way because I'm mocking it. But trust me, you can talk yourself into why it's a great idea. Mm. Well, and then here's the huge letdown of that. Is it's like the same thing we talked about, like when you're going on tilt and you decide to go up against an opponent, just take it right to him, or when you get beaten at your own strategy. Yes. So I mean, that, that's and like that's the if thing. you bank an entire map and like, hey, we have strategies for both sides, and we're gonna totally take it to him and surprise him, and it doesn't work on either of the sides. So you know, it, and then we've talked about morale a lot and yeah. command staff. Yeah. So say for example, after the first loss on high voltage, they were like, guys, it was close, but it's okay. We're gonna go into defense. We'll win with a mouse and tie it up. 
That is sometimes a message people say. Mm. It's something you don't want to say, though. Mm. Because then you go, okay, it's cool. We've got our safety fallback crutch strategy we'll do here that'll tie us up. What work. happens if you lose in that? <laughs> yeah. Now your whole team is like, well, our safety net just burned. What do we do? Oh. And now you have more of a morale problem than if you just said, it's only one game. We'll see if we can defend next time. Sure. But either way, not be super confident. You know, either way, one game at a time, guys. Right. Granted, eventually the message of one game at a time falls apart. Right. We, I can only speak from personal experience in this. Uh, so there was a long period of time where that was kind of our philosophy. And there was a time when that became really hollow. And really annoying, too, you I would bet. would lose. Yeah. And then somebody after that would one say, game one time. game at a time. Like, and oh. somebody over there is rolling their eyes going, one game at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. And it's <laughs> like, well, it's true. It's true. At some point, philosophical truths and stuff like that just feel they Empty. lose that impact, that emotional drive that they gave to mm -hmm. you. And if you if you can't adapt as a, as a leader, and sometimes there are no ways to adapt besides a vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta chill out. I mean, I definitely got to a point where there was no way I could inspire wow. the team anymore. In fact, I was probably a negative draw in at least one season. Huh. But everybody gets there at some point. Well, that, I mean, this, I mean, that's the slump we're talking about, right? Like, every team goes through it. You, it this well, is a, it's this, yeah. It, this is also you have, this is a team full of human beings, right? Like that's, working together, playing together, and that's, that's season per do. season. Yeah. But then if you also look at it on a grander scale, it'll happen over your entire career as well. Sure, sure. So ups the downs. It, it's so much of this game, like we talked about, is is morale, and it falls on the people who are the most likely candidates to burn out, and you can get in some really tough situations where it's hard hard to play. Mm. Either way. High voltage, successfully at least burning <laughs> roughly four minutes off the clock and doing a good chunk of damage to impact there. They Ooh, still have a little bit of an March. HP lead. Their E5s are more maneuverable. So far, it's working out better for them in every way. Wall hacks. How is he not spotted? And he's in a bush, man. Check this out. Completely. Oh, wow. Completely. Well, he's, now, see, here's one where the bush model. Right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, he's totally stuck not out. Not 100%. Uh, accurate to the, the camouflage model underneath. The camouflage model is usually a rectangular prism of some type, a gotcha. square, gotcha. you know, rectangle, whatever, the, a rectangular prism. Um, and rectangular bushes look So his, his tank probably fits entirely in it, but when we're here on the highest graphics settings... You see all the individual leaves. You see all the individual <laughs> yeah. leaves, so it looks like he's visible, right? Yeah, gotcha. And that's just, I mean, that's game mechanics. Nobody can ever get into a place where you have to code every single leaf having a vision <laughs> yeah, line. Yeah. Your game wouldn't run. <laughs> it would no. look like a slideshow <laughs> if your computer could even run it. <laughs> Thank but you for not doing that war gaming. Actually, this is why uh, I don't know. I don't know the current quote pro settings, but in the past we used to run dumbed down settings in some places, not the highest. Hmm. And so bushes we'd run in a very specific uh, texture resolution because it was the best for competition. Well, also explosions, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I completely cut off explosions yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Because they just create smoke effects that you don't need when you're you, you when you're can, trying to can't play. Can't see through. <laughs> yeah. 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 It can be a problem. A um, lot of other things. Little terrain differences. Either way, Noble's still trying to find an edge in here. Wow. Arklet wow. taking 13, 17, 17 2100 damage oh in one my volley from goodness. Noble. And now is their moment. They're going to go big and try and bring this home. they got two and a half minutes to do it. And High Voltage has got to recover from that gigantic loss. Wow, they're starting to put some cap rush on as well. Anthem taking 392 there. And poor Arklet just barely holding on with just 80 points of HP in that E5 after getting dominated. I mean, just, hey, oh, ow, oh, ow, ah, and just backing off there. So he's just going to be out of that fight for a while. He's gonna, he just has to wait for a moment where no one's really focusing on him to be able to take any shots at all. Exos, though, maybe getting caught out, being chased out by Blue Boys and the rest of High Voltage going down the south there. 427 going to that batch, and he is on the run. So this looks like it's going to be the uh, trigger for Noble to send German Canadian back and Milton up. 433, they're going to put 394, going to Wallhacks, and it looks like the battle has begun. Milton coming over, he finds Arklin. Oxney takes down Canadian back, and that is a one for one exchange between both these teams. High Voltage is up, though, in HP. Let's see if Noble can come back from that one, but they are continually putting on cap pressure. X Soldier. Looks like he got out of there, and Berthy going head-to-head -head against Militant with Jerem going head-to-head -head against Ox, but now the rest of High Voltage is coming back to join him. Militant is going to be in some trouble. It looks like he's not going to be able to get out of there as Boo Boo's captain is on the reload, looking for the shot, takes the shot, picks it up, and Jerem finds Oxy. So again, a one-for-one -one exchange 
five members for Noble against five for High Voltage. The five members for High Voltage are higher on HP. And Blue Boy's Boys Captain going reset. straight for the reset. Picks it up there. Tiger Thief finds German. High Voltage looks like they might be able to pick this one up. 15 seconds on the clock. Marsh is doing a great job shielding Dodo. And now that he goes down, he ju they just have to reset Dodo Ma. 20 Three seconds now on the cap pressure. 56 overall. Bird Thief picks up X Soldier. Just two tanks remain for Noble, and Akula is taking some fire as well. 16 seconds. He's doing his best job trying to stop Blue Boy's Captain. Blue Boy's Captain shot misses there, and Dodo does take a shot into that him. 3 8 team. Let's see if he can find it. No, he oh, gets he the gets reset it. right before he goes down. A beautiful clutch play right there from Blue Boy's Captain, saving the game for high voltage. Looks like that's going to lead them to their first victory of our second match of the night. What a reset coming out there from that T22. Akula now is kind of going head-to-head -head against Tiger Thief. One more shot away. Tiger Thief comes around the side, picks him up. Now it's going to be kind of Dodo left to survive for 13 seconds. Looks like surviving is not on his agenda. He goes head-to-head -head against Tiger, taking 480 there. One more shot. Tiger should be reloaded. He looks. He takes a shot. It doesn't connect. It bounces there. And he's going to stay alive. The clock is down to zero. He picks it up right in the nick of time. And high voltage now is going to pick up, like I said, their first victory of the night. Blue Boy's captain. What a reset there right at the end. I mean, he, he, like, it was like he shot, and as it was in the air, he went down. So any second sooner yeah. would have been atrocious I, for high voltage. Uh, I was getting very tense at that moment. <laughs> very uncomfortable. Let's go to the numbers. It's going to be some do it. sweet numbers. Akula coming in in the clutch all season long. But now, really putting it up. 2,400 in his T22. Militant, 2,000. Dodoma, 1,500. Killer. Impact, surprisingly. Well, Impact had to play a very uncomfortable position. You had to push up and play very close. And he was basically sacrificed. Right, so right. not much you can really say about that. And uh, X Soldier got hunted down by a bunch of people in the south. Again, not much you can say about that. Oftentimes, we see people with low numbers, and people immediately want to look at it and be like, wow, he oh, must have played failed. bad. Realistically, right. it's a team game. It's strategy. Sometimes they're put in the position to be the guy that dies. Right. It's what happens. Meanwhile, Bird Thief finally breathing some life into my fantasy team which has been suffering <laughs> all match long so far. <laughs> 2,600. Ant Thief right behind him with 2,400. Tiger Thief behind him with 2,300. And Blue Boys with 2,000. All right. So fantastic. Finally, find that one pickup. I mean, when you're in high voltage position, how big is that? How big is that victory right there? It's like, oh, man, we, we, if Steps was that that's, pick. That's they, huge. Now yeah. they're rolling into another map we've seen before. I mean, they, they got ruined on Himmelsdorf. Back in the finals. Yes. Ruined. Yeah. The OI just. Sorry. All sorts of <laughs> shots. It got to a point where, like, uh, you know, legitimately, it, sometimes it's hard for me to to have uh, any sort of clear emotion on these kinds of things because okay. I, I have friends on every team, sure. and it's like, oh, I'm so happy for them, and I feel so bad for them. But with the OI, I was just laughing. I was like, man, it's getting <laughs> bad over you here. You got ruined. Marsh is just having fun. Well, we are not going to be seeing any OIs tonight because nope. we're going to the next battle. It's a new format. <laughs> Noble is up 3-1. to one. Uh, and let's see uh, what map we're going to be citing because it's not Cliff, which is what I was hoping for. Let's get right to it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. Can't spoil it. There it is. <laughs> Noble with a 260, an E5, a batch out of 142, T22s, and an M40. M43. High voltage with two E5s, a 907, an STB, two T22s, and an AMX 1390. It's do or die time. Well, not not quite. Not quite, not quite yet. there. If you want to be 100% accurate, but it's still yeah, a very it's high pressure moment so for high voltage. But I mean, if high voltage picks up a victory here, right? They're only one way from the top. So I mean, I mean, so this victory I, I, is going to be big for them, and they are on defense. They're in a good position to get that. This is the map that Wally went ballistic on last time. So yes. If he yes. can come into the clutch, let's watch him. It could be a big difference. But either way, Noble's going to. This is a very difficult map to to aggress, and Noble's going to need a good plan to break high voltage, unless high voltage breaks themselves, like. They kind of did on steps a couple times. Sure, sure. Either way, I just want this match to go 5-4. <laughs> I don't care who wins, although I have more points than my fantasy team from high voltage. But I debated over that for a long time. Right. Bird what? or militant? And Bird he, or militant? He, Bird he, or militant? <laughs> what even going to is you had four. You, you had even well, on yeah. both. Well, yeah, and then after that, it was still bird or militant. And, ah, <laughs> I still don't know how to feel. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I mean, realistically, Noble did not look good coming into this. But... You know, now in hindsight, obviously you should pick Militant. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> See, there you go, Militant. It's good. You just kind of remind him. Keep, just keep the good reminder, like, hey, 
What's funny is, is he doesn't care at all. At all <laughs> about whether I pick him or not or anything <laughs> like that. Like to him, it's just funny. Yeah. He doesn't. He's not. Yeah. He's not somebody who's in it for the glory. Oh, he's a great guy. When he came out here, just talking to him, seemed just like it just oh, impact. So down to earth. way up on top. And he that gets away with that. Spotted. Nice. Gets away with Marsh's that. Marsh's shot, kind of going into the side of the hill there, looking obviously for Bird Thief. Not quite connecting there in that E5. Now an artillery, David here, bringing on offense. Which is that's something that strikes me. We don't we don't really see that a ton. Artillery on offense. We see it on defense. It's not bad on this map because the defense has to stay in the southwest. They can't really rotate a whole whole lot. They can divide their units a little bit, but taking everybody hard east is pretty much a guaranteed loss. If any team is ever able to control the one cap and all the way down the three line, yeah, you can't win. Over. Yeah, it's it's a perfect wall. There's no way you're gonna get around it. Not unless the other team makes huge mistakes. I guess this is me showing my cognitive bias here where I look at things and go, well, it's not even worth it. They already got the wall. And then somebody else just pushes and actually wins because, <laughs> you know, leaving the room for the other team to make mistakes. Yep. yep. Sometimes it's a valid tactic on its own. Shot there coming out from that M40, M43. Not sure if he hit anything yet. Berthy to take a little bit of damage there, but I don't think it was being artillery. Dota now pushing up just a little bit further. That 140 is slow and steady. It's being kind of paired off there with that artillery. Uh, now, David, on this map, what Dota is doing in that Object 140, you know, staying with Marsh uh, in the artillery? Is he there uh, just because this is a good position for him also to be? He's not playing a bodyguard role, is he? It's just kind of like this is where he's at. And this is kind of he just happens to be in the same place as the artillery, or is he there to protect? Bit of both. Marsh. Okay, a little bit, of, a little bit. Of it's a good spot to get some side damage into some tanks. And it's it's mostly a good spot to queue yourself up to run down the one line into the FG area. But he's okay. also here to somewhat protect the M40. But that's he's not going to marry himself to that idea. It would be a bad idea. Bird Thief. Barely dodging another shot there. Doing a great job just staying alive from that M40 and 43. Canadian Pat taking a shot. He's being spotted out as well. Akula in that T22. And meanwhile, we have the Bat Chat. A 4 Noble <laughs> way down in the J9 area. Nilton starting to rotate around now as he is on the move. And now... Wall hacks over here. Day 32, and they still <laughs> think I'm foliage. <laughs> and they think I'm a bush. The humans haven't caught on yet. Some men try to pick me up with berries. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting, <laughs> do, doing a great job. What? Staying invisible. But now with Nilton coming around the side, High Wolf is just starting to be surrounded by Noble. Is this... Uh, with Milton, for example, if a fight breaks out and you're High Wolf and you see Milton behind you, you see a bat chat behind you, is that one of those things that you can, you like, guys, turn around, take him out quick? Or is it like, ah, we ha we can't worry about it? They him. have shots back on him. Mm, okay. And he has to he has to settle his shots a lot more than they do in a bat chat. Be it's kind of a trait of most autoloaders. It takes longer to aim. So he's biding his time. He needs to wait until he has a very good target. Or otherwise, like that, the medium's back down far enough to where he can keep firing and remain invisible. Wow. There's a very delicate Wallhacks. place. You can see the lines going straight through that many bushes. It's that middle bush that helps that. Wallhacks getting oh, lit Wally. up now. Poor Wallhacks. And that 1390, Rip. Milton finishes him off there. He, uh, cool. I guess just pushed up too far. Got him spotted. Milton was there from the back. A great way for Noble to find that 1390. And now a scout is out of the game. And again, the theme of this week was scouts. So Noble doing a great job giving us a talking point there. Uh, so with you know when it comes to a certain point, I mean, in your mind as a player, as a team, are you, you know, what are you keeping in mind here for? Like, oh, yeah, well, let's find the scout. Where do we think the scout's at? Is that usually something you're always kind of pondering? Oh, I should stop talking here as we have a fight breaking out. Canadian back taking a lot of damage there in that 260. Now high voltage surrounding him. But a little bit of damage going back onto Blue Boy's captain. 340 there on T22. Ox Thief is going to take down Canadian Pack. So it is a one for one now dropping for both of these teams. Noble with 9,000 points of HP. High voltage with 9,300. Some cat pressure now being applied. Uh, by Noble on that southeastern cap. You guys see down there in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, the number two cap here on Muravanka. Uh, 89 seconds, so plenty of time for High Voltage to kind of figure out what they want to do, but it looks like what they want to do is put a lot of damage there onto Arclay. He's dropping just barely above half. Dodo though, taking a lot of damage now himself. But Blue Boys Captain, Bird Thief, and Anthony gonna start pushing over the hill, gonna start trying to uh, cut off x oh, from the rest of his team. 9.43 going to that E5. Ox doing a great job focusing him down. Germ taking some shots there as well. And x should be falling shortly. Let's see what Noble can do to respond to this one. One more shot. Blue Boys Captain takes on x Soldier. x -Soldier does find Anthony though. Another one for one exchange back and forth between both these teams. Blue Boys Captain has to be careful. He's extremely low. Akula 
picks him up there. A T22 taken down a T22. And now Noble with 5,000. High Wolves is now dropping to 3,100 points of HP. Blue, uh, as Bird Thief getting lit up. Milton takes him down there. Beautiful focus coming out from Noble. Germ is the next one. It looks like he's going to be on the chopping block for Noble. If Oxy can take the shot. The shot, though, bounces. And that is going to be Dodo Fine Tiger. And it looks like Germ should be finished off. Oxy. Oh, a huge turnaround there for Noble, leaving just Arklet alive in that E5. They know where he's at. They're coming down to take him. Bury him. There he goes. Just bury him in flame. And Dodo picking up that victory. And now Noble is up four to one against High Voltage. This is just the opposite of what we're talking about would be great for High Voltage. We're like, oh, it'd be great if High Voltage picked this victory up. It's on defense. And now they're gonna be up two, three. Now they're now it's four one. Noble just needs one more victory. And now Noble is gonna be on defense on this map. Uh, uh, just not I would not want to be High Voltage right now. Looking <laughs> back what you saw. <laughs> looking back what you saw no. there, the 1390 that went down, you know, just like that, was that kind of where I mean obviously after that happened, it was like, all right, let's just push and take them all. Yes. Yeah, that, that was the trigger that Noble was looking for. Yes. In many ways. The location of the 1390 is a big deal. They didn't really get any damage on Akula when he went out there to spot him. They didn't get damage on Militant when he was sitting in the south getting shots off. Mm. A lot. A lot of Lots of cover. Militant is going to be... He's not that high in the damage. I'm sorry. Shouldn't be that, <laughs> I shouldn't really, be that happy about it. You got really excited it's just, about well, it's, it's, it's the regret, man. I'd be like, oh, sure. I could have picked him. Sure. <laughs> Let us see what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet. Yeah, again, remember... There are biases. Fantasy. There we go. Fantasy Dota biases. I wasn't actually going to pick him anyways, uh, just because he hasn't been putting up the numbers Millicent has lately. But either way, there he goes. 15 shots, 12 hits, 11 penetrations. A cooler right behind him. Another person. Both of these two returning the form in this whole set. Yeah. This is what yeah. I was cringing about. 1,500 damage blocked by Germ's side armor out of his T22. <laughs> wow. It's, uh, that's uh, that's got to be so frustrating. It's hard be, for oh, me it's to be watch. so frustrating. It's hard for me to watch two E5s. <sighs> Send two shots into the side of a T22 and, and get no and damage. It. And then him drive up a hill and take a shot from, I think, Ox's 907 and bounce it. And it's just, I was just cringing what, the whole what, time. Oh, and this is, this is the tank you're talking about. People are like, oh, yeah, just turn your side to it. Like, that doesn't sound like it will work, but it works in the T22. You just it turn works. your side and you just bounce shots like crazy. It works. Got to be frustrating for high voltage. Right now, Noble one victory away from 5 one <laughs> high voltage and maintaining their first place position here. Can they do it or can high voltage come back? Let's get right into it and take a look at what we've got for our tanks. Noble with an E5, an STB, two T22s, a T62A, and a TVP. Slap in a RU251, and you got a team. High voltage with an E100, a bad shot, a 140, a JPE100. Two Waffle 100s and AMX 1390. Oh, a lot of uh, tank destroyers here. <laughs> Not the uh, tank de tank destroyer team. Well, hey, we've seen high voltage pull out some crazy, uh, crazy comps before that have worked out. I let's see if this one is one of them. Don't know how to feel about this, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm like, hey, two waffles, two waffles. I'm super pumped. I'm excited to see what's about to happen here. Seven minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, and I already feel like I'm just satisfied with this match. <laughs> <laughs> Anthe being spotted out there, dropping down just before he takes a shot uh, from anyone. And it looks like Noble is just going to be very aggressive and put a lot of the members over here on the western side, not even worrying about the southeast part of the map at all. Oh, no, 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 because they're not going to let any <laughs> of those tank destroyers start lighting them up uh. from the forest area. <laughs> that is that would just be that would be game. That is the proverbial <laughs> danger zone. <laughs> you go into that, it's just bad news all day. Gotcha. Well, uh oh, they're starting to rotate, David. Well, they checked. They found some tanks over here in the northwest. It's a pretty good bet that the dace is going to be relatively clear. There's no way they're going to separate the tank destroyers that far away from the mediums because then they're vulnerable, and the entire reason you have tank destroyers goes out the window. So all they're going to do is they're rotating a little bit away, leaving some skeletal force to check things out. They're going to send Marsh over there to make sure it's okay. The problem here is. This is kind of what High Voltage wants. High Voltage wants to put a big tank on cap and then put a whole lot of big tanks behind it and say, come at me, bro. Sure. The instant you poke your head up, boom, you're going to get shot. ruined. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're a T-22. <laughs> I don't think a T-22 <laughs> can repel what would be firing at them there. <laughs> That'd be amazing to I, see. I like really <laughs> don't think so. I think it would go straight through <laughs> and hit the person behind it. <laughs> possibly come out the other side. Can't actually do that in tanks. Right, but that's that's but what... Man, I would love it if you <laughs> That would be pretty sweet. You'd have to rebalance a lot of tanks, though. <laughs> like, well... Uh, uh, Wargaming, huh? High penetration huh? tanks are suddenly really broken. Huh? 
Birth Key rounds become the worst tanks in the game. And the E100 putting that big tank now uh, on the northern, or sorry, the uh, western cap here on Muravanka. Five minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. It's going to be interesting to see what Noble does respond. Just take the, the shot from the side. 312, and there's a reset. Uh, so we'll see how high was going to respond from that one. 118 again, just going back and forth. They have an STB1 firing upon him, a T62 going at him. Man, not a good position for Birth to be in at all. You know, the other thing about this cap, very open. Both of these caps here on this map. Oh, Ox missed in the JP's first shot. Oof. Changes everything. It's going to be a long reload, and that would have rocked Canadian Impact's world <laughs> completely. <laughs> well, his world was not rocked right now, but Birth Thief's world is continuing to be rocked as he is now well below half health. And another shot going into him. 370 in the E100. Wallhack takes some damage. He's spot out there in the 1390. He's going to just to get deleted the moment he's found. Dodo is the one to finish him off there. And now a tank down for high voltage. Looks like that's all Nimble wanted. They're happy with that. They are now pulling the rest of their tanks out. And uh, high voltage is an even steeper hill to climb. It's a rough, definitely a rough uphill battle. They don't have mobility. They don't have head points. They don't have cap pressure. They don't have map control. Mm. They haven't even done damage. <sighs> I mean, I do see some, I sometimes see some, some, uh, some lightning in the sky. Maybe if Noble gets struck, maybe High Voltage gets this round. Again, that doesn't happen. Is that where the voltage comes from? <laughs> yeah, that's for the high. Arclet is secretly <laughs> Thor, the god of lightning. <laughs> he just summons lightning on mass. I'm pretty sure that is against the, that's in the rules rule of WGLA. That's, yeah, that's in the rule book. So unfortunately, they can't no do that superpowers. now. No latent superpowers. That's considered illegal. Yeah, yeah. That, but again, Admin it's... Admin Ute and his wherewithal to plan to for such things. To put that in. Yeah, that's, what's, that's what I loved about reading that. Month-long binge of Marvel products. <laughs> Thinks it's a joke. But it's but it's real. But it's real. But it's real. High voltage, guys. You gotta watch out for him. Four minutes on the clock. Noble has killed now half of the timer for this battle, and is getting to the high voltage to do something awesome to be able to, to take. It's this up match. to high voltage to do something. You nailed it with that. Yep. That alone. They're not yep. doing anything. This is a, again another situation where it looks like they had a a plan with a clear execution. You gotta hit your shots. They didn't hit their shots. Other things didn't go the way they expected it to, and it's all unraveling. And it, we're three and a half minutes away at most from Noble closing out high voltage five to one, unless something impossible happens. And for some reason, Noble decides to offer themselves up to the gods of W even hundreds. It just doesn't <laughs> doesn't make sense. Yeah, and so uh, look, yeah, like you're saying, I see I the intent. Don't know what Noble. I see the do. intent, and it's an I mean, alluring, it's an alluring, clever awesome thing is it almost like is it almost too and clever it just doesn't work some yes exactly it just doesn't work sometimes yeah like it, like oh man when this works oh baby it works yeah but then when it doesn't it's like oh baby oh it doesn't Let, or you could practice somebody with it and it works and then you know they use it and they practice against somebody else who practices against noble oh, with it and then noble's no, seen it and they wow, have an answer that's interesting it happens all the time I never thought about that. Just kind of the chain of the chain of strats yeah. that can go through yeah. on these. Uh, on the, on that's the that's matches. why as many NA teams uh, practice across border regions as possible with European teams. We used to practice with Virus Pro all the time mm. uh, in order to yeah, get keep, away from a lot. Keep of it that. safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not just because there are better teams, keep but to keep your secrets safe. Safe. And even then, that doesn't work. EU teams traffic in a lot of secrets as well, and then it comes over to NA through somebody else practicing in a EU team. It, there's no way to really hide sure. everything. Just, just practice. Yeah, I guess you can't. Just have another team that's you and just practice against them. Ox is uh, not looking good here. Both E100s, two out of four, just getting taken down. Sub 70%, sub 30%, I should say. And I will just got nothing going for him. Yeah. Nothing at all. Ooh, I want brutal. I want to see more battles here. Brutal. Obviously, at this point, Noble deserves the win, reclaiming their, their crown, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which... I guess they never really lost, if you think about it. Yeah, they're still first. <laughs> unless, unless, <laughs> unless you can qualify Simp is taking it, but this is, uh, this is not how I expected it to go. This is, is rough. No, but I mean, hey, I mean, again, a good surprise there coming out from Noble. We both thought that this was going to be, I mean, a lot of people I know thought this was going to be a very close matchup. Again, th these are the these are the, basically the two Titans, you know, Simp as well, but one, one of the two of the three Titans right now of this match. X-Soldier oh. fighting the brute force of what could no. potentially happen there when you do get spotted. I mean, that that's High Voltage's plan. Well, hold shot. on, hold on. 22 seconds, 15 seconds left on cap. Can High Voltage pull it off in this period of time? 
Get one reset out, but it's still on the fence. All right, Oxthief does take a little bit. Or Oxthief is doing as much damage as he possibly can. Tiger Thief was one. Take the reset damage. Who is captain? Uh, take some shots, but really the focus is on Cap. Canadian Impact is going to be able to come out there. He's waiting to live a shot. He needs to hit this, and if he does, it will be a good reset. Dodo, though, is fully clipped. Three shots going out now. 12 out of poison damage are going to the Tiger. A huge reset go there, going there for high voltage. One more shot. Tiger's going to go down. Milton comes in and picks it up, and that looks like it is all over. Four uh, members for high voltage against the six Fort Noble. 38 seconds on the clock. Germ takes down Oxteep. Milton now has control over the uh, Western cap here. Bullying Anthem off. Canadian back now coming in to join him. Dodo finds Blue Boys. And this is Noble. Re kind of showing that this is why we're on top. This is why we won last season's champions. And it's going to be the high wolves to kind of go back to the drawing board with a lot of these stats. The strats, you see if they come back and bring him back to the table. Congratulations to Noble there for picking up their fifth victory against High Voltage, making it closing it out 5-1. to one. Uh, Again, just something that I, I was not expecting. I thought this was going to be a very close battle, going back and forth. And again, watching how Noble had played up to this point, they seemed a little rusty, seemed a little bit on tilt. So I was like, man, High Voltage very well could take this. But Noble's like, no, we're back. This is what we did. But uh, man, fantastic plays coming up from both of these teams. Well, sorry, really from Noble. High voltage with a really interesting strats. Fantastic, really fun, like strats that they watch. No. So <laughs> let's, let's go to the stats. <laughs> you guys know that I cannot make fun of these teams. Guys, think of one of me. Not deliberately, but you did it by accident there <laughs> quite well. Dotama on top with 25 shots, 12 hits, 12 penetrations, 3,600 damage in the TVP. Brutal. Canadian Impact right behind him. Cooler right behind him. Militant right behind him. Usual suspects. Come over here for high voltage and not the usual suspects. I mean, the people you expect to put up the most damage, but Ox, zero. Zero! Mm. Why, are you, uh, why are you putting my Ox in a tank that takes so long to fire? Put him in something that's going to rack up the damage, please. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least I can take solace in the fact that probably everybody else picked him. So, <laughs> so you just it, no real point differential there. Wise, unless yeah. somebody just magically decided that Ox wasn't a good pick today, which. You're crazy, but enjoy the points. Arc lit there with 2,200 damage. Anthony right behind him at 2,200. I'm uh, just going to put it to bed. High voltage. Not executing well or yeah. really at all in some instances. Sure. Their strategies, interesting, dynamic. Maybe they don't work. Maybe there was their execution points. But either way, Noble is back in form. Yeah. And if they weren't going into this match, they are now. All right. One well, again, high voltage. You guys are awesome. I could never do what you guys do. Forgive me if I just deliberately insulted you guys. But congratulations to Noble picking up that uh, victory 5-1. to one. Our third match, ladies and gentlemen, is coming right up. It is 07 versus Eclipse. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>